Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about implicit differentiation. And for each problem, we'll use implicit differentiation to find dy dx terms of x and y. So, if I was given this problem, 3x squared plus 3y squared is equal to 2. Well, what I want to do is I take the derivative here on the left hand right side. I'm going to treat x just like I normally would x power rule. 2 comes down times 3 is 6. So 6x six times the x divided by 1. So we have 6x uh, for the first pattern. I'm going to do the same thing with y. Pretty much exactly the same in that first part. 2 comes down times 3 is 6. y subtract the x divided by 1. We have the first power now. But now I need to multiply that by the derivative of y. The y value, since we're finding dy dx with respect to x, right? Uh, the y one is kind of like a chain rule. We have dy dx. That's the derivative of y. And that's equal to, well, 2, the derivative of 2 is just 0. So now my goal um, is just using some algebra to get dy dx by itself. So subtract the 6x of both sides, dy uh, times dy dx is equal to a negative 6x here. Then I divide by 6x of both sides, dy dx is equal to, well, negative 6x over 6x. This one can simplify. I'm oh, sorry, 6y, whoopsie, there's a common mistake you can do right there, 6y, okay. Now, the 6's basically cancel out, so we have dy dx here is equal to negative x over y. And that is my final answer. So let's recap, we're given 3x squared plus 3y squared equals 2. Using implicit differentiation, 3x squared becomes 6x, 3y squared becomes 6y. But six or six y times d y dx, right? The y has a little extra step. We're multiplied by the derivative of y there. Two is just zero. So now we're just getting d y dx uh, by itself. I subtract six x both sides, then I divide by six y. We simplified that and got our final answer of d y dx is equal to a negative x over.